What's going on good people man, it's your boy, Small Soldier right here, back in action once again with another Let's Play Adventure, Let's Play episode for Monster Hunter World. This time here man, we're gonna head to the Research Commission's HQ, and see what's up, see what happens when we get over there man. So let's make our way over there, roll out, this gal calling me over here. Got this pretty scenery man. The little dinosaurs, pterodactyls, whatever they are. Ancient forests. So this will be my first Monster Hunter experience. Come on, let's get going. Alright, lead the way, gal. So I am a total noob at this man. So hopefully I will get better. Um I'm doing a blind playthrough for this right here. To get to HQ, we need to... But as I move forward, I will um, try not to do that. <laughs> but this is just for right now. Oh, I gotta bring out my map. So we gotta head all over here. These gotta head east. Seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Aptonauts, that's what they call. I thought they were pterodactyls, man. I know, <laughs> I know they ain't. Pterodactyls is the one that fly. It looks like we need to go around. Alright, these look peaceful. How she get up here so quick though? She do my Naruto Jitsu get up here quick, man. I follow in your lead, Miss Lady. So yeah, man, for you guys who uh play Monster Hunter religiously, um Scout flies are gathering. Scout flies. What are some of the things that incentivizes you to uh keep playing, man? I hear a lot of people compare this game to Dark Souls. I don't know if it's because of the difficulty what or whatnot. Event. Or if the um There's one over here too. Come on. I think I found the way back to base. Alright. Them scout flies come in handy. Or is it because of like the uh slower than usual I combat? I my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Okay, so in playing the um whatchamacallit, the beta a little bit, seems like the scout flies act like a glitter trail. Like a waypoint trail. Push our way through these vines. Push true divines. Give birth. Vine forest. So where we at now? We deeper into the forest. I don't like this. See what I saying? Got these old dern Velociraptors. Big ass iguanas. It's really what they are. And I don't even think we got any weapons. Oh yeah, I got that knife behind me. Yeah, they run a little too deep though. Okay. Easy there. I think we need to get up the hell about the dodge, gal. Roll out. Come on, this way. <laughs> Just get up out of here, man. Run, gal. Stay low in the brush to remain hidden. Oh. Hi. These things don't know I up in here. They can't smell it. <laughs> Quietly. They got nose like snail. They can't smell us up in here. Ah oh, my. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while we still can. Trophy. Well, that was a pretty easy to obtain trophy. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe no scent of smell passed down through those reptiles right there. Let's get up out this damn forest. Nothing can stop us. I'm all the way up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let me stop singing. Making noise. Hopefully we're getting closer to the research facility. Or well, research commission, I should say. Wait, there's something here. I don't think you need to be investigating anything. We ain't got no what weapons, y'all. Old footprints. There's more over there. Let's check it out. I mean the last thing we need to be doing is checking out some more dinosaurs. I like the scenery though. Pretty scenery. I mean, all we could do is run. <laughs> I 
Look, that thing footprint as big as you. Uh oh. She about to get snatch. Yeah. You wanna go investigating stuff. Look at that, that's the big daddy. It's the big daddy Velociraptor. You don't mind me. Joker got one big ass sword though. Look at that sword. This way, hurry. Okay. She got that big Let's buster sword. <laughs> I'm telling you, see, all we can do is run. <laughs> that thing running after them though, he ignored me. You all better run. Good old grandpappy lizard. He sees some food. We gotta hurry our ass over there too though. How we can get through. Oh! This is some real Jurassic Park though. Damn! That T Rex handling damn grandpappy lizard. Get going, girl. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> he body slamming the damn lizard. Ooh, close call. I mean, I like my chick me and Luna created though, but them expressions though. She got that constipated look. Let's go. Okay. She needs some X locks or something, man. Like you know, <laughs> she got a poop. She can't fart right away. Oh my. I like in this though, man. I like in this, man. But yeah, I I hear a lot of people are, uh, like comparing this to Dark Souls and whatnot, man. And I don't know if it's because of the difficulty or the like the lumbering combat. But if so, man, that's up my alley. Um, trying to get a feel for what the story is. I don't know if people play this for the story. It doesn't seem so, though. This don't seem like one of them games that people play for the lore and the the mystery and the intrigue of the world. But you never know, man. I mean, Dark Souls have a lot of fans who play it specifically for the story. So. Wow. Gosh. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. Astera. I like it. <laughs> okay, so this is the town, eh? Astera. The rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Save the best for last. I need to find my cat, though. Oh, my cat is man, my what they call Palico. My cat Palico is. Okay, set him down here. Take a nice. I need to tape up your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. They so friendly. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring. Scholars to do the research. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Okay, this boss man there. Look at he got on lipstick though. What's going on, boss? <laughs> well, he just, he just got them them blunt lips. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I made it too, man. Yeah, you got them, you got them old backward lips, man. <laughs> Let me start making jokes, somebody. Anyway, um, yeah. Your reputations precede you. Team. Yeah, where my polygo is, man. Yeah, I might have to do a search around this place for real, though. This um, town area seems okay. interesting. I'll give you the grand tour. Oh, please do. Start by looking for your palatrum. Yeah, my furry little friend is. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. 
You should drop by later to see what they have. I will do. Yeah, those polygons, I wonder what they actually come in handy for, to be honest with you. Gotta research up on that, man. But yeah, I feel like I just straight noob and exploring. It's this way. Some new territory. Over here. And the crafting seems very big in this game as well, too. I see a lot of people talking about the crafting. Like, that's essentially how you level up your character. You level up your gear or craft new gear. The commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Okay, I see grandpappy. I feel like I really play in an anime, though. I gotta create my own little box story. Cool looking tree over there. Wonder if I could go over there. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Wanna check it out? We'll come back here. Ooh, it's toasty in here. Wanna get going? The canteen? I am so there. <laughs> old alcoholic man, old drunkard. <laughs> She's a little alky. Hmm. Over here. Where my cat is, boy. Lead me to my cat, bro. We have problems. Put hard work into crafting his look. This here's our canteen. Hmm. She wants to sip that sauce. Hey, over there. <laughs> there he is. This Joker here. Hey, you. <laughs> yeah, he up in here having a good old time, man. Party and anything. Uh, what you hugging her for? You don't know this gal. I knew you pulled through. <laughs> you supposed to jump in my arms. Some real Star Wars Force Awaken moments right there, man. Right. Calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a they're a fine group. Oops. Worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem. But I can't look like one badass, so look at him. He looked like he ready to jack you up. <laughs> Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking. Hunters, for the time being. I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth <laughs> banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right. Dismissed. Autobots, roll out. I wish my Palico could look like that badass cat, man. He look like he been through some battles. And we got our first mission. Ready to get our hands dirty. That I do. I do need some weapons, though. Can't be running out here with this little knife. This little knife on my bungee. On my butt. <laughs> I 
Head inside your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. Okay, this is my crib. What? I got a little crib, man. Let's see. Let's see what the. Let's see what kind of kind of stuff we got up in the crib. All right, I got a box or two. How you get inside there before me, though? <laughs> got another cat. Equip a weapon from Place the item box. For you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. I see a lot of people online talking about hammers, though. You know, different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit with devastating force. While the sword and shield, um, sword and shield seem like my type of vibe. I don't know. I might go with something else though. Armor sets. Also, if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below, man. I'll take anything, any information I can get. Uh, but uh, yeah, I see a lot of people talking about hammers and thing. Hammering away at these fools. Okay, so we could equip new threads here. Those were some of the optional threads I had to equip at the beginning, man, when I was doing the character create. Used to deal a rapid flurry of blows. Okay. The a Buster Sword. Weapon with low mobility but powerful attacks. So there's two out of three stars for beginners. A close range weapon with low mobility but mm. a close range weapon that facilitates I might go with this katana. A close Big ass katana though. <laughs> that lets you maneuver quickly and guard against Okay, the sword and shield also have a three level for accessibility, man. A heavy weapon used to strike monsters at point blank range and stun them. Ah. A weapon Big ass that stores hammer. energy in its sword form and releases it in its axe form. Okay, that look cool, Dread. A weapon that transforms between a long-reaching axe and a powerful sword. A defense-oriented weapon with a... Eh. Man, this game does have a lot of weapon types. A weapon that lets you charge up power and attack from medium range. I do think, though, I can go with the Katana Man. We'll start off with this Katana. I might go back to the Sword and Shield later on. But for right now, we'll, um... Okay, so your weapon got a sharpness level. Does it dull over time? Perhaps it does. Be good to go now. Man, that <laughs> katana bigger than me. Wanna get going? Hold on, let me saw some oh you could change your appearance. Oh yeah. Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I might do a separate guide on this. But um hopefully man I could change my expressions. Uh, don't seem so. I don't know, man. My gal, she just have that, like I said, she got that constipated look, man. I mean... Well, at least you could change some stuff, so... Maybe I might come back and change my hairstyle every now and again. She might have a different hairstyle for different bottles. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna stop it here, man. I think I'm gonna... Uh, take a break right here gonna resume in the next video man and take an assignment or two and then go from there uh, so folks that is pretty much that man that completes another let's play episode for monster hunter world in which we just headed to the research commission hq and then also explored this town astera a little bit uh let me know what you guys thoughts on the comments below as always i appreciate the support and with that there fellas man i guess i will see you guys in the next video